Hey, it's time for another video. We're going to create a form at the bottom of our application, this video, and it is going to allow us to add a new hero. And so you can see that the uh, finished product is on the screen. We're going to have a couple of text fields, then we're going to have these um, select options, and then finally we're going to have some value sliders, a checkbox, and then a submit button. So let's go back into our HTML code and let's work on creating these elements and then we'll be done with the video. Okay, so here we are with our Hero Maker web page. We've got the code listed in front of us. So on the last video, we created the login form area. So I'm going to start by copying that and uh, pasting it. So that was a control C, control V. And now let's see, we're going to have this one become, instead of a login form, we're going to call this thing the add hero form. So the first thing we need to do is give this thing a, uh, a name. So our container, instead of login form, let's give it an ID of how about add hero. And let's see, we'll keep the class well and we're going to change some of these inputs. So the first thing we need to do is give this a input name. So instead of input email, I'm going to use the word hero name. So input hero name is the ID and let's copy that up to the label now the type here is instead of email we're going to call this thing text and the placeholder we'll call this thing uh, your hero name how about so that's the only text field we'll have in this form so I'm gonna take the next one and delete it and we will have one submit button so I will delete two of those at the bottom we also need to change the ID. Every ID has to be unique on our page. So sign in button has to go away and we're going to call this thing create new hero button. Okay, so this should just have a text field and a button in it. Let's take a look by saving and refreshing our page. So we can see we have a new hero button. This looks to me like email address needs to change. I left that up there, so let's call this thing our hero name, how about? And refresh again, and there we got it. Okay, now let's go back to the uh, final product and see what we're trying to create. So we got hero name, we got these select boxes coming up next. So just to refresh your memory and provide a nice way to copy code, let's go to Google and type in HTML select and it looks like W3Schools comes up and there is a nice select item. So let's go copy that and use that for our starting point. Okay, so now I'm switching back into my HTML code and I had deleted a form item. I'm going to replace it with this select box. So let's see what the first item is going to be on our hero. It is going to be the race. So we got wizard, orc, elf, and the others. So go ahead and edit these and change them to something that you like. Okay, so I have the select items figured out. Let's go and save this and refresh our page. And so now we have options for different races. Now it looks like I need to have a title, a label, and I want to make the uh, drop-down box the full width. So let's go and take a label copy and put it right inside of our form group. Label for. Now the select doesn't have a um, ID yet, so let's give it one. Let's call this thing the hero race. And that way, when we have our label, we can give it a association. And let's get the word race there. Also, since we are working in um, Bootstrap, they seem to prefer that we use a class name called Form Control. And let's add that to our Select Control. Okay, so it looks like we're done. Let's save the changes and see what happens when we refresh the page. There we go. So it's looking more like what we expected. Okay, so now we're going to make another select box. So let's just copy the code from our first one and let's paste it in again. And this time we're going to change the um, 
uh, the ID instead of hero race we're gonna call it hero profession okay now come up with some professions so that your characters have something to do okay so I've added up the uh, professions let's do another save and refresh on our page and we have two drop-down menus or two select items now the next items are the sliders and so what is a slider called in HTML So let's go back to Google and find out what those sliders are called so HTML slider control and let's see what happens we come up with slider control and it looks like we got one here so what does this thing look like so it looks to me like in this item we have uh, something called an input type equals range and we're going to use the uh, same code that they have so we're gonna copy it it looks like 0 to 50 is their range so let's go into our code and let's add some more things here first of all I'm going to paste my code that I just created an input instead of points for the ID this thing is gonna be called hero strength and let's see the value is 50 0 to 100 sounds good name needs to be let's call this thing hero points as well okay now you notice the uh, pattern for all of these other controls has the form group class so that helps us format with bootstrap so I'm gonna keep that and wrap that around my input so we have a open div and a uh, closed div has to go after there so let's put a closed div my label needs to be updated this is no longer um, for the hero profession but it's for the hero strength okay so we got a, a slider going here we're going to have to place a number here after hero strength uh, right now we have just a mystery of what that value is actually assigned so we'll put a spot for a number here and we'll do some programming later to make that dynamic so right here after hero strength we're going to put a colon and then I'm going to create what's called a span a span is a kind of like a div except it's in line it doesn't start any new lines and we're going to make a class name on this so that later we can reference this thing and I'm going to call this thing an attribute value so an attribute of our hero like his strength his speed and his stamina and so that will be coming up later and so we put something in there right now let's call it 50 and save it and go back and see what that looks like so it does say 50 down here and like I said it's going to be updated but not yet so this is dynamic in a future video right now we're just getting a placeholder of 50 okay now all I have to do is take this slider called strength we're gonna copy it twice and make it into speed and stamina so all I have to do is copy a group here so I copy it twice and we have hero speed coming up okay so check that out double check your typing make sure it all matches here we should have three sliders and they're called strength no they're called strength speed and stamina okay now the test let's see what happens when I save it go back to the browser refresh it and I should have three of them so strength speed and stamina the labels all look good and we're ready to put one more check mark in and our form is done what we have done is on the left here we've got three sliders on the right is where we're going and so we need to have this check mark that says is deity as one of our options so let's go back into bootstrap and let's take a look through their CSS directory on what can we do for check boxes so I think we were looking at a form earlier and so let's go into forms and our example form had a checkbox on it so let's go down to the part that says checkbox and sure enough there it is 
Let's just copy everything that's in the format for checkboxes. It's got a label div combination and we should be able to drop that right into our code and it should work like we expect. So got a space at the bottom here. Checkbox, check me out. Let's change that to is deity. And we need to give this thing an ID so that way we can reference it later in the programming part. And I think we're ready to go. I'm going to save and refresh the page. And now we have is deity as one of our options. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up our create new hero box. And we, uh, I guess there's one last thing is we don't have any titles on top of these forms. So let's quickly go back into the top and let's create an H3 maybe and we'll create the titles. Okay, let's go and check it out. Okay, it looks like we're finally done with these forms. We've got titles, we've got all of our entry points, and now we have some coding to do, and that'll be the rest of the videos.